Hello. Today I'd like to introduce you to the ES756, which is a member of our Intellect 69 product family. I'm showing the instrument here in the optional low-cost wall mount enclosure. This product is our basic economical rate totalizer for analog inputs. It offers a six-digit LED display of rate or total, and it offers a variety of analog inputs. Most commonly, it is used with 4 to 20 milliamp transmitters. It provides 24 volts DC to power two wire transmitters. In addition, it can be used with 0 to 20, 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 5 volt, and 1 to 5 volt sig signals. It offers a display that's a single line, but you can change the parameter being viewed by pushing the view button. I'm showing it here, first displaying the totalizer. As I push the view button, you'll notice that an R appears in the far left hand side, indicating that it's displaying the flow rate. Pushing the button again will show the peak value, which is the highest value of rate that has been observed since the peak was last cleared. Pushing the button again, you'll notice that you'll see a display with a U. This is showing you the valley, which is the lowest flow rate that's been observed since the valley was last cleared. Pushing the button one more time, you'll see that it goes back to displaying the total. You'll also notice that there's labels for pre-A and pre-B. These are the two flow rate indications that, um, or two flow rate alarm indications that can be used um, as either low flow alarms or high flow alarms. There's another button labeled lock, which is used to uh, basically prevent access to the display for changing of information. The remaining keys are a reset button, which is used when clearing the peak, the valley, or the total display, and another listing the program. This button is used to enter into the setup parameters of the instrument. Let's look at some of the basic operations that an operator might do. To change the alarm points, he would first press the pre button. It'll now give him a message saying, this is the parameter to be changed. By hitting the enter button, it'll now go into a mode where you can see the current alarm point. In this case, if the flow was reading in gallons per minute, this alarm point is set to a thousand gallons a minute. To change that point, you basically press the button underneath the key you wish to change. So let's suppose we want to change this alarm point to 100 gallons a minute. You can press the number one key to set that digit to one, and then cycle the other numbers around in the thousands point position until the leading zero disappears. If this is satisfactory, representation of your alarm point, you can press enter. You'll notice that the display goes back to the home display, which would be the last parameter viewed, which in our case was the total. A similar action on the setting the second alarm point can be done by pressing the pre-B. Again, you'll see it's displaying a representation of what that alarm point does. By pressing enter again, you'll see this alarm point. And you'll notice that this one is set for 500 gallons per minute. To change this point to some other value, you can press again a key underneath the point you wish to change, or digit location you wish to change. And I'm going to change this one to 800 gallons a minute, and press enter to save it. Once again, it returns to displaying the item of interest. If you were displaying the total and wish to clear it, the only item that you have to do is to press the reset button. If some other parameter is being displayed, such as the rate, to clear the total, you must first go to a display of that parameter, 
and then press the reset button. The lock parameter is used to prevent individuals from changing the various set points or entering the programming mode or clearing totalizers. To lock the unit, you press the enter button three times quickly and you'll see a prompt for a code. At this point, you can enter the code in a similar fashion to the way we were changing the set points earlier. So that's pressing the enter button, entering in your password code, such as this, and pressing enter. If this code matches what's been previously established for the unit, the unit will lock. If not, the unit just returns to normal operation. Now, let's consider some of the other functions in this instrument. The unit also has an optional 4 to 20 milliamp signal that you can assign proportional to rate. It also has a uh, various modes of operation for the two standard alarm points. Besides being used for high-low flow rate alarms, they can be used as a scaled pulse output or as a total alarm where when the value of the total gets to that point, it signals other equipment that that value has been obtained. Finally, let's take a look at some of the modes of operation in the setup menu. Now, in the user manual, you'll notice that there's a page that has the basic menu organization for this instrument. And it begins in the upper left with a location where it'll say start. And it attempts to show in a little pictorial form the particular key that must be hit in order to move into the menus. Now we're going to try to navigate through this. It would be best if you follow along in your user manual as we proceed through the setup of the instrument. And we're going to set this up such that the flow rate is set up to configured for a 4 to 20 milliamp input reading in whole gallons and gallons per minute rate. <laughs>